companies do not deal with uncertainty well and create a great deal of harm. Nate Defer, a professor at Insead University, a business school in France, and Susanna Harmon Defer, an art historian, published a book last year titled The Upside of Uncertainty, A Guide to Finding Possibility in the Unknown, and he spoke in an interview with Mail Business Newspaper. Uncertainty is the number one factor that we want to get rid of, not just in our daily lives, but also in the financial and economic markets. But Mr. and Mrs. Fur have attracted a lot of attention by emphasizing the positive aspects of uncertainty. In this session, we will introduce the arguments of those who are breaking the prejudice against uncertainty that everyone considers to be negative. What is the definition of uncertainty? The fur couple defines uncertainty as anything unknown. They say that uncertainty is fundamentally different from risk. They explain the difference between the two by quoting the words of Frank Knight, one of the most important American economists of the 20th century. It is said that Knight defined a situation where people know the variables and related probability distribution, but do not know the outcome as risk. However, uncertainty refers to a situation where people do not even know the variables. According to the World Uncertainty Index, which has been compiled jointly by economists from Stanford University and IMF, the International Monetary Fund, since the 1990s, the index has been steadily increasing. The index includes political and economic uncertainty from 143 countries. The most important point related to uncertainty is that nobody can prepare for uncertainty. This also means that there is a high possibility of missing out on the hidden benefits of uncertainty. People fear uncertainty. Why does uncertainty bring fear? Everyone fears the unknown. The couple says that as humans evolved, they developed an anxiety response to uncertainty. To be more specific, the human brain circuitry is designed to be afraid of losses and to pursue gains. People see uncertainty as a potential loss and have a fear of it, and they try to reduce or avoid uncertainty. However, new opportunities only arise when people experience uncertainty. Let's take a look back at the most proud moments in our personal lives, such as changing jobs or moving. These opportunities that make us feel proud come after uncertainty. The same goes for innovators. To achieve something new, they first face uncertainty and then seize opportunities. Uncertainty such as the pandemic or unemployment brings negative results to people, but at the same time it also presents new opportunities. Therefore, if people reconstruct uncertainty as an opportunity, the couple believes that people will become less anxious. What kind of uncertainty are companies currently facing? The majority of companies are facing uncertainty about how their industries will be transformed by digital technology or other technologies, according to the third couple. Of all things, why technology? Inflation, war, the pandemic are relatively short-term factors. They can cause market shocks, but they rarely change the nature of the game that companies play. However, technology can change the nature of the game and cause continuous change. That's why the uncertainty that companies usually face is about technology, according to the third couple. What is an example of a management leader who reconstructs the uncertainty into an opportunity during the COVID-19 pandemic. Mr. and Mrs. Fur say that in the era of the COVID-19 pandemic, some leaders framed it as the worst thing that ever happened to us or something worse than the Great Depression. However, Brian Chesky, the CEO of Airbnb, reacted differently. Although the aviation and hospitality industries were hit the hardest by the pandemic, Chesky reframed the pandemic as an opportunity for Airbnb. According to the third couple, Chesky claimed that great companies are created in moments of crisis and that this moment presents an opportunity to showcase Airbnb's greatness. In May 2020, Airbnb laid off about 25% of its entire workforce to cut costs due to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the company quickly discovered that people were searching for travel destinations near their residence on its website. In June, Airbnb launched the Go Near campaign, updating its website and application to recommend travel destinations near users' residence. The introduction of this service resulted in Airbnb generating $3.4 billion in total revenue in 2020. While this figure is a 30% decrease from the previous year, it is much better than the company's prediction that its total revenue would decrease by over 50% after the pandemic erupted in 2020. Most people feel anxious about an uncertain future. That's why they try to predict and plan for the future to reduce uncertainty. However, life does not always go as planned because the world changes rapidly. To achieve greater success in situations where even the variables are unknown, one must turn a crisis into an opportunity. In other words, 
you have to flip the script. Companies should use this as an opportunity for growth, establish their identity, and develop new strategies. Join us for more useful information on the next episode of Knowledge Sports.